This series was done on Philip Glass, called Shatter Philip Glass. It's kind of the colors you get when you're looking through a Coca-Cola bottle and you see the light kind of flashing. I mean, you can see the, the um, shads of light. It's a coloscope. This we had come back from Africa, called Out of Africa. Interesting you're doing so glass because I was just listening to Moondog. I love Moondog. These two black ones are actually took five years to dry. They used to hang on top of each other in Southampton, in the lobby to the house or the foyer to the house. And I just love the way they look then. But I, I had mixed the paint wrong, and that's why you get this kind of a somewhat of a metallic thing going on, which I wish Sounds I Sounds like you mixed it right. I don't know what I did wrong. I think you did right. These two are called Can Can, this whole series. We've gotten back from Paris, and I wanted to get that kind of feeling of a Can Can. And I really think I achieved that. Um, again, Africa. Then this car was the car that we used, you know, when you Collector in East Hampton had a, a woods that you could walk to with no pad. Mm -hmm. So I built a meander. Did you? Yeah. Meaning? Well, you know this guy. He's a big contemporary collector. He's got a huge place. Larson. Jack Lionel Larson. It sounds... Oh, it sounds... It's a big place. It's got a swimming pool. Jack Lionel Larson, probably. A while ago. Last yeah. century. But I built a meander. This was a series I did for a hotel chain. It's the only one I still have left. Who's? And it was, well, it was, I had a, a woman who used to get me things for these hotels. I don't even know what hotel huh? I went into, but it was one that's, you will, if you stay in enough hotels, this will turn up, because I had a whole series. Uh, I, uh, they asked because we did the King David. Uh, did you really? In, in, in Israel? Yeah. 400 yeah. works of art. You know, really, really, because in Israel, I wanted to, this, this piece is sold, this is, this is Egypt, and I got very claustrophobic in Egypt. You mean it has a home? Because I went into the, <laughs> I went into the pyramids, and of course you get that feeling of, I think, claustrophobia. This is more the outdoors of the desert there. It was sort of like that. Yeah. And these went, these went. Well, when I was there, they were, this here was when I, I did this obviously a long time ago, it's called fireworks for because of the color obvious reasons yeah mm -hmm. that's city lights we got how about this one on. Trevor? this one right here what's that this one's called bomb uh -huh. and you can see why you know that's pretty clear but it stood on a level in the hallway going down the stairs it was very effective in a beach house let me tell you it was really beautiful we got the climb on stonehenge <laughs> That's how long ago we were there. Yes, really, really. <laughs> this was London, my interpretation of London. I've recently been working on a Serene series. I have two pieces at Roskowska Gallery right now in Hudson. And over here, I've been doing this kind of Matisse work. Um, no, no, not... Yes, Matisse, Matisse. Yeah. Kind of Matisse work recently. I just got into, last year we were in the south of France and we were staying in Boyer-sur-Mer and these are the things I did there, which were... So who do you think had the advantage, Matisse or Chagall? Good question. Um, I think Chagall because he, yeah. he didn't have poor health. I, I have a book you'd like to see. It's this thick, and it's called The Mansions of the French Impressionists. I would like they to see They all got so rich they could write castles. I would like to see it. Well, I've been to a lot of their homes, but, you know, Matisse, I think, was sad because he couldn't continue to paint. He did all those cut out things. Chagall lived a healthy life. Before you leave there, um, Trevor, would you tell me about those three behind the, uh, oh, the London one? Okay. The London one, of course, you mentioned. is obviously... Parliament and the Thames, huh? and I think, I think I achieved London without being Turner. trite. Without being Turner. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I just went to see a Turner exhibit in San Francisco, which was fantastic. These now, obviously, to me at any rate, they're seascapes, because what this was with the boats, they started out very realistic. I have some sketches I made from this. And they're of the house, and I have photographs. 
and they became more and more abstract, where the sailboats no longer were sailboats and the water was no longer necessarily water, but it had the feeling of water. Uh -huh. And this to me was one of the most successful pieces. Framed, this is magnificent. Um, I have to have that float framed and it's going to be great. The lighting in the barn is totally wrong for painting. So what's with the faux Van Gogh? Which one? Oh, that one there? That was a scrap paper that I did and I just liked it and it was East Hampton, the potato fields. Yeah, yeah. And I never even thought of it as Van Gogh, but that's You know, very... he made a lot of potatoes. This is called Raucous Cry of Parrots. And I wanted something that was, I got that from the house and I wanted it to have that Martin Downey quiet village, you know, when he did. And it's one of my oldest pieces. This was made by, because that's how I did the trade. The man who did, I did Nelly, the nude, made these marvelous pieces. He got the measurements wrong, and that's why they're so deep. Yeah. And I said they're going to be great. So any of the deep ones were made by him, which there's one right behind you. That yellow one behind you, up in the air. It's lovely, Trevor. Isn't that a beautiful piece? Yeah, it really is. That used to hang in the lobby of a building. A where? A building. Uh -huh. One that I designed. It was, again, in East Hampton. I say it's a building because it's not a home. It's more an office. This is called Daydream in the Hall, which is where wealthy women come to have facelifts. And they're usually stoned out of their mind. And as you can see, it is a very kind of... Yes? I'm going to use the card to go to Michael. Are you going to get some basil? Sure. For DM. That'd be fine. Thank you. This is hanging upside <laughs> down. And I had a poet come and write a poem about it. She thought it was snow, snow on cedars. And it's actually grasses when it's upside down. But the poem's so pretty that I'm going to leave it hanging upside down. Um, this one is a swamp series, and that's self-explanatory. It's upside down also, but it looks good that way. I sold a series of this. This is, all these are Casablanca lilies here. And um, one of our parishioners, um, one of the first families of New York, um, Evie Chandler, bought one of those pieces, and she's been buying a lot. She's a marvelous lady, yeah, marvelous she, lady. She got a lot of my pieces. This is a bouquet of flowers. It was actually, I was mopping up, and I happened to stick a piece of paper on top of the painting, and it came out that way, kind of raw shuck, and I actually like it better than the piece. I want to frame this one because I think this is gorgeous. <clears throat> I just sold a very old piece today which was cozy cabins in East Hampton. I don't know whether you know them, but they used to be on out east. It was, uh, what route was that that went all the way out? Do you know the road that goes yeah, all the way I up to what, Montauk what Highway? Yeah. At any rate, that was what it was called. This was China the first time I went, and that's what China did look like, actually. You know, it no longer looks that way. I did these pieces in Australia, and of course you can recognize the trees from that area. You're traveling for art or is art for the traveling? Combinations. Mm -hmm. These are so old I wasn't even using canvas. I did this in Grand Camino, and it was a client's home. You had to take a boat to get there. And there was a cottage in the hills here, and Jean, her husband, who is now dead, was having a problem because I was trailing some paint on their, their, their rocks. And I decided, well, I've got to get something out of those. So I did that. And these I just found today. They're a study of anemones. These are so old. And I realized these are really damn good, you know? So the title is The, the Best Anemones? I mean, they, yes, that's a good title, actually. The Best Anemones. <laughs> but these are really old, old pieces. Know your enemies. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> this 
is uh, I'm forever blowing bubbles, obvious reasons. This was study, a study on a root canal I had done. <laughs> and it started out with some, some sketches. I had this root canal done in Rome, an emergency. And I thought, I've got to get something out of this. So healthcare in 2.5 world. So I started out with <laughs> small, small paintings of the, the pain. I call them topless paintings. I have a lot of those. They have no top. See, it was, it, was, yeah, it was this kind of thing, and I just exploded to that. But a friend of mine who's a writer said, you can't ever call something root canal. So he, oh, stop it. He, he renamed it Rape on Chinese New Year because he thought it was much more saleable. You do it in French, and I bet you it sounds great. It root, probably root, no, does. Root canal. But rape on Chinese New Year, you know, it's uh. like... That was evil. This is a series called None But the Lonely Hearts. I was going through a very bad period, obviously. I mean, you can see that was really... This was Fire Island. What's your kill ratio? Oh, God, who knows? Pro I, I used to go through a tremendous amount of people, that I'll tell you. No, no, I mean, uh, how many paintings don't make it? You work on it, work on oh, it. Oh, a tremendous you, amount. You just say yeah. forget it. Well, it's you good. know... This was the horse show in Southampton. You know Elise Michelle? Day Lilies. No, I don't. In Southampton. She's always the lead queen. Of? Horse. The horses. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, I never got into knowing the people as much as the, the feeling of the place. This was a friend who was a real estate agent who was so much like an easy chair that I painted him as an easy chair. And, <coughs> and the, they're called easy chair. He really had that easy chair feeling. And this was this granddaughter who was very hungover on a day bed. And it really has that daydreams kind of quality. I don't like lazy boys because if they were real, they'd never be assembled. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. That's my um, Icelandic series. We, just there last year, coming back from Paris. Okay. And it's right way out. And it really is a beautiful place, actually. You know? And all of these are all these things. I did a lot of these florals in the hospital when I had cancer. And the, the nurses used to bring in the flower arrangements. Hmm. So I did a lot of things that could be done very quickly. Where were you? I was at that Benedictine hospital on the other side of the river. Uh -huh. What had happened was I wasn't particularly sick by that time. What I had done was I took myself off painkillers and I realized they were really working. So I did a series of quick pieces. And then you saw me in the, ki in the kitchen after I was, after I had cancer and I was doing those still life, you saw the photos. Of, these were some of the things that I was working on then. This is a view when you go out of the house You'll see that's the barn down the hill, or you'll imagine, because that's, that's the road, mm -hmm. and it looks like that to me. So this, this is all your idea? This was Fire Island. Uh, these were various people I dated over the years who have been nice enough to sit for me. This is one which was a study of Janie Arneberg. She owns... Her mother owns the town of New Harmony, Indiana, which actually has a Philip Johnson Museum, an IMP Museum, and a, uh, do you know it? We're from Kalamazoo. And, and it's, uh, it has uh, two more architects. She sued Philip Myers and one. This is Fortuny, my Chopin dog. And he's long since not with us. Um, and let's go have some lemonade. Um, oh, because I have lemonade or I have coffee.